first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number four on the topic lcm and hcf now we are going to solve some of the questions from model number two so how to find lcm or how to find hcf for a decimal values so friends always remember one thing don't forget to learn the basics lesson number one lesson number two if you watch only these two videos you can able to understand all the remaining videos so first learn what is the basic of lcm and what is the basics of hcf so after learning it in model number one that is in previous model i have told you how to find lcm and hcf for the fraction numbers that is model number one previous video but here we are going to learn how to find lcm and hcf for a decimal values let me take any example question just here 9.36 6.4 7.03 so how to find lcm for these numbers for example 9.36 6.4 7.03 so here you can able to see the numbers are not fraction the numbers are not an whole number or an integer the numbers are a decimal numbers is yes? 9 point some decimal numbers are there so we are going to learn how to find lcm if the given numbers are decimal got it so there is an easiest trick it by using the trick you can easily able to find the lcm so let me move on to three question on lcm and one question on hcf so let me move on to the first example question so find lcm for 1.2 1.5 .2, 2 and 5 so they have given four numbers that is 1.2 1.5 2 and 5 so our target is to find what is the lcm for the numbers so listen here in out of this given four numbers you can able to see two numbers with a decimal value so the first step what you need to do is first convert all the values with the equal decimal points just see here the first number is what 1.2 right second number is what 1.5 third number is only two right we have to make all the numbers with the equal decimal value so i can make it as 2.0 understood or not last number is 5 so i am just converting this as 5.0 so now you can able to see all the numbers all the given four numbers with the equal decimal value yes or no got it just put decimal point here and put zero similarly point and zero so now we have converted all the four numbers with the equal decimal value so next step what you need to do is you need to multiply all the values by 10 in order to remove the decimal points if you multiply 1.2 into 10 resultant will be 12 got it 1.5 into 10 15 2.0 into 10 20 this becomes 50 got it so finally we have converted all these decimal value in terms of an integer that is whole number got it or not now find an lcm for all these four numbers right so 12 comma 15 comma 20 comma 50 so now find the lcm for all these numbers so first take two here 6 twos are 12 15 10 twos are 20 25 got it so again go with two three twos are 6 15 five twos are 10 25 so go with five three here so one threes are three five threes are 15 5 25 so go with five so one comma one comma one comma five so again five resultant will be one comma one comma one comma so got it so now five into two will be ten three into uh, two will be six so six into ten will be sixty 60 into 5 will be 300 so finally we got the lcm for the given number is what 300 just listen here here we have multiplied it by here we have multiplied the value by what 10 so at last divide by 10 so that we can compensate the value so finally lcm for the given fraction number that is 30 so friends understood or not first time if you are learning little bit it will be feeling like confusing but if you understand the concept then it is very simple so if they have given any decimal value the first thing what you need to do is you need to make all the values with the equal decimal numbers so here you can able to see 1.2 and 1.5 here the only the number 2 has been given so i have to convert into a proper decimal value so 0 .0, 0 0 so now here you can able to see the given number is converted into all the numbers given number is converted into an equal decimal value so now next step i am want to remove all the decimal value that's the reason i am multiplying by 10 
If I am multiplying by 10, finally I am dividing by 10 so that we can compensate the numbers, right? So first multiplying by 10, 1.2 into 10 becomes 12. So this 15, 20, 50. So after finding LCM for these numbers, we got LCM 300. Here we have multiplied by 10 instead of removing the decimal point. But at the last we have to divide by 10. In case if you are multiplying by 100, at last you have to divide by 100. If you are multiplying a value by 1000, at last you have to divide by 1000. Only then we can able to compensate it. Got it? So 300 by 10 resultant will be 30. So this will be the answer for question number 1. So we can see many uh, example questions so that in the next next question you can be strong on the concepts. Example number 2. So find LCM for 1.20, 0 0.24 and 6. So what you have to do here is first step what I have told you. The first step is you need to make sure that all the values should have an equal decimal point. For example, first number is 1.20. Second value is 0 0.24, yes or no? So decimal, after decimal point, we have two numbers. After decimal point, we have two numbers. But the last number is only 6. But we have to make sure that all the numbers should have an equal decimal value. So what you need to do is put decimal point here, 0, 0. Got it or not, right? So finally, we have converted all the given numbers into an equal decimal values, right? So this should be the step number 1. So what should be the step number two? You have to multiply all these numbers in order to remove the decimal point. See, after decimal point, we have two numbers. So what number you have to multiply by it? So we have to multiply by 100. If you multiply this by 100, it becomes 120. In the previous question, we have only 1.2 because after decimal point, we have only one number. So that's the reason we have multiplied by 10 in order to remove the decimal point. Here we have two values. That's the reason I'm multiplying by 100. If you multiply this by 100, it becomes a whole number, right? So 120. So multiply by 100, which becomes 24. Multiply by 100, this becomes 600. Got it? Now find LCM for these numbers. Got it or not? So if you first let me go with the 2 here. So this becomes 60. So this becomes 12. So this becomes 300. Got it? So again go with the 2. So 30. 6 twos are 12, this becomes 150. So again go with the 2. So 15, 3, 75. So go with 3 here. 5 threes are 15, 1, 25. So 5 times 1 comma 1 comma 5. So again 5 times it becomes 1 comma 1 comma 1. Got it? So now, so 2 into 2 will be 4. 4 into 2 will be 8. 8 into 5 will be 40. So 40 into 5 will be 200. 200 into 3 will be 600. So finally, what is the LCM that we got is 600. You should not say this is the final answer. Why? Because in step number 2, we have removed all the decimal point by just multiplying by 100. But at the last, what you need to do? You need to divide the number by 100. So finally, 6 will be the LCM for it. So friends, got it or not, right? If you are dividing by, if you are multiplying our numbers by 10, at last you have to divide by 10 only then you can compensate it similarly here in step number 2 we have multiplied by 100 so at last after finding LCM at last we have to divide by the same number 100 so finally we got the LCM for the number is 6 so friends understood or not how easy it is right by seeing all those numbers don't decide it's a difficult question it's very simple to find an LCM First step what you need to do here is you need to make sure that all the numbers should have an equal decimal value, right? So after decimal point two numbers, after decimal point two numbers, but here we have only number six. So we have to put a decimal point and zero and zero. So finally we have converted all the given numbers into an equal decimal point. Now multiply by 10 or multiply by 100 or multiply by 1000 based on the value. Because here after decimal point we have two numbers. That's the reason I have multiplied by 100. In case after decimal point if we have three numbers we have to multiply by 1000. So whatever be if you are multiplying by 10 or multiplying by 100 or 1000. At last, you have to divide the same number that you have done here, right? So finally, divided by 100, the result and answer will be 6. So which is the answer for question number 2. Question number 3. So find LCM for 0 0.12, 0 
0 0.96 and 0 0.6 just see here the first number what is the first step you need to uh, do is first make sure that all the numbers should have an equal decimal values right so 0 0.12 so after decimal point we have two numbers so similarly after decimal point we have two numbers but here after decimal point we have only one number what do you need to do just put zero here that's it if you put zero here then all the numbers all the three numbers becomes equal decimal values right so 0 0.12 after decimal point two value after decimal point two values and after decimal point two values so now what you need to do is you need to check whether you have to multiply the value by 10 or 100 or by 1000 so after decimal point we have two numbers in order to remove it you need to multiply by 100 so this becomes 12 if you multiply by 100 this becomes 9 to 6 so multiply by 100 so 0 0.60 into 100 will be 60 so now find lcm for it so 9 to 6 60 right so 2 times 6 twos are 12 so this becomes 48 and this becomes 30 so again go with 2 3 twos are 6 24 15 so again with 2 3 times 12 twos are 24 and the 15 right so now i think uh, we can go with the 2 again so 3 times 6 twos are 12 15 so 3 times 1 comma 2 comma 5 so 2 times 1 comma 1 comma 5 similarly 5 times 1 comma 1 comma 1 got it so 5 into 2 will be 10 10 into 3 will be 30 30 into 2 will be 60 120 240 480 so finally we got the lcm that is what 480 just listen carefully initially we have divided by what 100 at last what you need to do you need to divide by 100 initially we have multiplied by 100 so at last you need to divide by 100 so this becomes lcm of the number will be 4.8 so 4.8 will be the lcm for the given decimal values so i hope after seeing three questions you would have understood how to find lcm for the fraction numbers so first step what you need to do is you need to make sure that all the numbers should have a equal decimal values after that you need to check whether we we have to remove the decimal point that should be step number two for that you need to decide whether we should multiply the number by 10 or multiply by 100 or 1000 so based on it we need to multiply the numbers so what number you are going to multiply here the same number we have to divide at the last only then we can compensate it right so if we are multiplying by 100 here at last after finding an lcm you have to divide by 100 so this becomes the final lcm for the number so this will be the answer for the third question so last example question so here we our target is to find what is the hcf for the number so two numbers they have given that is 6.16 and 13 so listen here what should be the first step everything is the same process right so first step what you need to do here is you need to make sure that all the numbers should have an equal decimal value right 6.16 after decimal point we have two numbers so similarly convert 13 into 13.00 so now after decimal point all these two numbers will have an equal numbers got it so now what should be the step number two you have to multiply by 100 in order to remove the decimal value so if you multiply by 100 this becomes 616 if you multiply by 100 this becomes 1300 that's it now find hcf for the numbers either by the shortcut or else by the division method so let me move the division method so 1300 divided by 616 so let me move to 2 times 6 into 2 will be 12 remaining will be 1 2 and 3 1 2 3 2 got it so now this will be like uh, 68 here yes okay 68 so again you need to divide by yes or no right these are the things what we learnt in lesson number two so the remainder we have to divide this divisor by the remainder right if you divide this this becomes nine times 614 sorry 612 so four remaining so this will be 68 so 17 so 68 0 so finally while dividing by 7 it becomes 0 so we can say that hcf for the number will be 4 but remember one thing we have multiplied here by at step number 2 we have multiplied by 100 but at the last what you need to do you have to divide by 100 so this becomes 0 0.04 so this will be the hcf of the given number so friends understood or not so everything is a same step right this is the thing 
This is the process how to find the HCF for the number. That's only different. But everything, step number one, step number two, and the last step, everything will be same for both LCM and HCF. For finding LCM, we will use a long division method. For finding HCF, we have used this division method. And this stuff, what we learned in lesson number two. Got it? So friends, that's it about this model number two that is based on a decimal value. I hope you understood this logic, how to find the LCM and HCF for the decimal values. So after watching this video, take your books or search in Google. You will get many questions that is based on a decimal values and try to find the LCM and HCF by using all these methods. Definitely and 100% you will get the answer. Practice more, it is more than enough to crack the questions in the exams. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.